back to my channel, Southern Yankee. It is a rainy, rainy Tuesday here in Virginia. We went from having beautiful, like almost summer-like weather in the 70s to having spring-like cooler temperatures to back to winter over here. It's freezing and it's been raining. So I came home. Um, I was supposed to do some things with my son today, but he's with a girl that he met. So I am alone. Robert's with this kid. Kenzie's working and I just got home from dropping our taxes off and I have my FabFitFun here. I also have my Mix and Match box, which I'm going to get into too, but I don't know if I'll get into that today. I'm literally freezing. I just put socks on and I'm like so cold. So, oh, hi babies. Arrow's coming to say hi. Hi, sweetie. She hears me talking, and that's why she comes to visit, because she, I don't know, she wonders who the heck I'm talking to, I guess. So I'm going to do my FabFitFun style box. I do have my FabFitFun actual, like, lifestyle box here with a whole bunch of extras, and I haven't, um, I haven't gotten into that yet either, so I need to do that. I And I really, like, have been good and didn't watch anybody else, so I have no idea, like, what's in there. Uh, because I've I've been waiting until I have time to do my videos. So um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my FabFitFun style. So this is kind of new. It's I say it's new, but I've been doing it at least a year. Um, I saw it from Favor, um, from her channel, and um, signed up. They had a... <laughs> ouch. They had a beta program. What are you doing? You just giving me kisses? Your nails are out. What is she doing? What are you doing, baby? Oh. Um... So they had a beta program and um, I was able to get in on it. Now they did have it as an option though recently. Like if you, you know, you get your like spring edit and you're able to add the, all those extras into your lifestyle box. One of the extras was getting a FabFitFun style box. If any of you haven't looked at that, make sure you do next time you get the opportunity. So FabFitFun style will send you five items and you do get a discount if you keep all five. Um, I will tell you, I looked on, you can look, like when they say it's been delivered, you can click check out before you've opened the box and look at the items. And I was not really loving, I, I popped this open and looked at it too um, the other day, but I'm not really thrilled what's in this particular box. This box has really been hit or miss. There is something in here that I'm interested in. Um, but it's $20, I think, for you to get a box. And then that does get credited to anything that you keep. Um, and then you get the discount if you keep all five. So I think there's one thing in here that I'm going to enjoy, but we're going to go through and look at everything and try everything on. Um, there is something in here I absolutely hate, so we'll see if you can tell what that one is. What are you doing? She, you've been alone all day. Arrow is a very, very loving kitty. Like, when you come home, she wants you to hold her. She, she'll she reach her arms all the way up so that you can pick her up and hold her. And she just wants to be held, and she just wants to be by her people. She's a very, very, very loving cat. And she was a little stray. She was, um, Robert found her in a house. And her, the mother had crawled in. These guys, they were like this big. The mother had crawled into, a, like, an abandoned house and had a litter of, of kittens in there. Well, they were all hissing. They had never seen a human being. So they're like little fuzzballs. And they were like <sighs> hissing at everybody. And she was on the top. She was actually the fluffiest one hissing. And there were other ones that were prettier that had more of a tiger design on it or I thought were prettier. And Mackenzie was like, nope, this is the one, Mama. I want this one. She wanted this little gray fatty. And out of all the cats, this arrow is the sweetest cat we have ever, ever, ever had. She is the sweetest cat. What do you win? What doing? She also loves when you sing to her. She does this when I sing to her. Every time I sing, she puts her, her I don't know what she's doing, but she, she loves it. She'll come running from whatever room you're in when you are singing, and she puts her chin under your chin like she just wants to hear you, or she'll press her face up against your face when you're singing, especially the high notes. She rather likes those. All right, so let's get into this box. All right. All right, so... Where's my paperwork? Paperwork. We do have a bag in here to send back anything that we don't want to keep. I don't know where my paperwork is. I don't see it in here. Oh, now you're knocking stuff over. What are you doing? What are you doing? We're knocking stuff over, huh? We're knocking stuff over. Say hi to everybody. Say hi to everybody, princess. She's a sweet baby. You're such a sweet baby. All right. Go down. All right, so I'm just looking to see 
Maybe I looked. Well, hold on. Let me see if I find the paperwork. Oh, now nitro's coming. Hold on. <laughs> All right, totally messed all, all the clothes up trying to find that. It was in there, but it was at the very bottom, and I couldn't find it. I was didn't think I took it out. So my stylist is Leslie, and she did send me a big, long note. They do give you a very personalized note, which is really nice about them. Um, and so she goes on, and she talks about each of the pieces. So there's nothing extra spectacular. She did say, we're always excited to see your name on our styling roster, which I thought was very, very sweet. And this is a box which she calls a step into spring. So, all right, so we have the five items, and it is the product discount. So this is a, the box is $317, and at all five discount, you get $79.25. You do get a 25% discount, minus your styling fee of 20, brings $100 total. So it comes to $217.75, sorry, $217.75 if I were to keep all. But I already know I'm not. There's something in here I really don't like. Let's start with the item I really don't like. <clears throat> These are the floral print pants in a medium and rust. I don't even know if they're going to fit me. Um... They're by Skies Are Blue, and I do like the Skies Are Blue brand. I'm not a huge fan. I never really have been of printed bottoms. Now, I don't mind embroidery or a little design on my jeans. This is a little busy for my bottom half, which is already going on pretty busy. So um, it does have pockets, and it's got like a flat front and then a stretchy back. Um, I really don't know if this will fit over my hips. We'll see if I can get even get these on, but I do not like these, and they look like they're capris. These are not going to be flattering on me. I really, I could be surprised, but these are something that I would say no to. But I, I will say, though, that that's something about doing these boxes is that you do get to try things that are out of the box and things you would never try. And there have been times I've been surprised with my style. If, like, I didn't think I was going to like something and ended up loving it. So um, these are $58. Maybe they're not Maybe they're not cropped. We'll look at that and see when we try them on me. They might be full length. I don't know. All right, so the next item I do like. This is a cowl neck top in the color blue, and it's $58, and I really like this material. Um, you guys might have recently saw my trunk club, and I got all those pretty blue tops, but they were that yucky, yucky polyester. This is, um, I don't know what this is made of, and it's by Mystery... It says mystery on here, but then it says May Cowl Neck Top, but mystery is the brand. So this is $58, a little bit expensive, but it's very pretty. It's um, a beautiful blue, and it's a very silky material. I'm going to look and see what this is, but this, I really do like this. Um, let's see what the material is. It's soft and silky, whatever it is. It's made out of Modal. 15% uh, polyester, 80% modal, and 5% elastino. So that's why it's so soft. So this is great. And these will wash and wear really, really well too. And that looks, I think this is going to be a flattering style on me. And again, when I wear blues like this, it pulls my blue eyes. So that's $58. A little pricey, but I do like that. Um, this is another item I do like. This is the Merce, Merce front knit knot sweater in a medium and heather gray. And this is $48. This is definitely a weekend casual piece, and it's a tie knot sweatshirt, long sleeve. I like it. It's good for days like today when it's actually pretty chilly outside today, so um, I'm excited to try that on. That's just going to be a casual comfy, and it's really, really soft, and I do think that I would get a lot of wear out of that. The next one is a very heavy. Um, I'm actually surprised they sent this to me because... Here we are in Virginia, and we've had 70-degree weather already. Um, it's going to warm up. This is in a size medium. This is a chenille, very, very heavy um, cardigan. So I was really surprised to see this. But it's got this weird drapey thing going on on the neck, which I don't like. It does have pockets, which I do like. Um, I also like the color, but again, this is a piece to me. It's very soft, very cozy. This is a piece to me for the winter, for the fall, um, when it when it's autumn. Um, this is no surprise. This is $89 for this, and I don't need it. You guys know I have a problem with cardigans. I have too many, but this one is a hot, heavy one that I'm not going to wear for the summer. I do wear cardigans in the summer at work. It gets chilly in my office, but nothing this heavy. I would wear um, more of a, a spring lightweight cardigan at this point. This is definitely a winter piece. 
So maybe she was thinking this would be a transition piece, but it's already like it's these are the items that I'm putting up in the up in the attic. These are already being packed up. And then the final piece, which is pretty, but I don't need. Um, I would have got this maybe if it was bigger because it looks stunning. It is it feels very heavy. It's a Brie braided chain crossbody bag in the color blush and it is $64. Now my daughter does like this. Um, so let's take a look at it. So it has the chain in here. That's what was so heavy, I think. What else is in here? So it looks like it's got one compartment here. And then it, so it's got three compartments. And then it has one, a pocket here. And then it has another pocket up here. And then the front is a very pretty design. So you can wear it as a clutch or you can put the crossbody on it. So it's a braided design. It's very, very pretty. Isn't that pretty? And I do like the color and I like the like the laser cut detail here in the center. It's kind of pricey for the size of the purse though. Um, it is $64 for this. I don't know what it's made out of. Let's see what it says. This is just a caution. And it's by street level, so I don't know. It doesn't say what it's made out of, but it's a $64 purse. And um, I would, I this is too small for me. I need medium-sized purses. I do have one that's actually kind of small I'm using right now, just that, you know, I do have a bad back, so if I'm going to go somewhere and do a lot of walking, I'll just carry my bare essentials and throw them in um, and wear them. You know, use a small one for something like that, but on an everyday basis, I wear more of a bigger, medium-sized purse. Um, and this is, I think, a pretty pricey purse for the size of it. Although it is a, it's it's a well-made purse. Like it feels nice. It feels nice. It feels well-made. So those guys are my five pieces. I think the things that I am most excited about would be the little sweatshirt and this little blue top but we're gonna try it all on and see what we're dealing with. I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, so here is that first little top. It's cute, just as I suspected, I like it. But these, excuse me Nitro. No, don't jump on me. Um, but the, hold on, I can see I'm blurry. Okay, but the pants are horrendous. Um, they are giving me a pooch on my belly where they're sitting. So it's going to make the top part look a little funny, but let me show you. So here, see how it's giving me like a pooch right here? And I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just not flattering. Um, it does have pockets and they were a little bit tight get to get up. And I also don't like the seam going right here on here with the flowers because the flowers just stop. So it's not like a seamless print. Um, don't They are Capri. Do not mind my socks. I know that looks so bad, but my feet are cold, guys. But here's, <laughs> I really hate these pants. I don't even know what to say about them. They look like clown pants to me. I really, really hate them like a lot. So, but I am going to put the, I like the top, and I'm going to put the cardigan on, too, which this is just so out of season, especially for Virginia. Um, and I don't think I'm going to like the top part of this cardigan. It's got like a drapey thing going on with it. Yeah. This is a $90, oh my god. No. No, no. How does anybody look good in this? Like, what is this? Why is it go? Is it supposed to be like... Is it supposed to be like a, a shawl blanket type thing? That's kind of what it looks like. It's so soft, and I will tell you, it is comfortable. Um, it is not, I don't like this cardigan. I don't like it because of this. This is the part I don't like. What are you supposed to do with this? It's like a blanket. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what these big flaps are for. If you just leave it down to let it hang, it goes down to about my knees. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then, oh, let me show you the back of the whole fun outfit here. <laughs> I feel like I feel like so bad. Like this is like a fashion, a fashion show gone wrong. 
So, especially the pants. The pants are the worst thing ever. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and try on the cats in the box over there. Um, what else do we have? Oh, all I really have is the sweatshirt. So I'm gonna put my own pants back on and then try the sweatshirt on because then we have the purse. So I'll be right back. Okay, I do like this sweatshirt as I thought I would and I just have it on with black leggings and I'm just lounging around the house. I think I'm gonna keep this sweatshirt, but let me back up so you guys can see it. It's got the cute little tie. It's a... Uh, it covers enough, right? It's not super long. I can leave it up if I wanted to show my butt, but it covers enough back there. And it's probably something I would just honestly wear around the house. I can't, I don't have a lot of room because Nitro's at my feet over here. Wanna say hi to everybody? Wanna say hi? Don't jump on me. Okay, don't, don't jump on me, Nitro. All right, so, yeah, so this is a... This is a strong, <laughs> what they're doing, possibility. I do like this. I think this is super cute. Sorry, guys. All right. I gotta go. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. I think the dogs are somewhat settled, hopefully. Um, I do think I'm going to get this sweatshirt. I'm wearing it because it's super, super cozy. And I think you could, because it's loose here, you could kind of do like an off-the-shoulder look with it which I think that's very cute too for just and I think it would naturally just drape there whether it goes up or down my hair oh that's <laughs> yeah it's a necklace it's not my hair I was trying to move it and it's actually not my hair okay so that this is the cheapest thing in the box too this was $48 so with my $20 I've already paid it would only be $28 to keep and I do like this I don't have enough kind of casual sweatshirts for the weekend and I think that I, I might get this. So this is definitely a very, very strong possibility. These pants. Fail, fail, fail. Okay, these pants were so bad. <laughs> so bad. Okay, so they're 58 bucks. I don't like prints on my butt. I don't, and I really, really hated these. Um, did I tell you I hated them? I really didn't like these. So you can see they had a seam down the front and that seam cuts the flowers off right there. And I'm already seeing that Nitro got his hair. I knew he was going to do that. I'm going to have to lint roll these pants because he started like jumping on me and stuff and I was trying to stop it, but he was being obnoxious and rubbing all over me. So we're going to have to, luckily this isn't really the type of fabric that holds hair so I can get all that off. But <clears throat> these are going back. This top I liked. Um, this was a pretty top, but it's a little pricey. It's almost $60 for this top, so I don't think I'm going to keep it. I, I liked it. I thought it was pretty. It did not look pretty with those pants, though. These would be cute with a pair of jeans. They would have been cute with black pants for work. Um, I really do like this top. I feel like you guys probably didn't get the best look at this top simply because I paired it with those pants, and that was so horrible, and that was like the outfit. That was just a bad outfit. Just a bad outfit. So, and then this, this would be great if it didn't have those big flaps on it in the front. I don't understand that styling. Um, it's, that's just not my deal anymore. I don't like the big waterfall, but this wasn't even a waterfall. I don't know what it was. It was really weird. Um, I do like the color of it. I think it would have been great for fall. It's very heavy. Like putting it on, I'm already like warm from wearing it. Um, this is $90. It's $89 for this. This is going back. I, it's just the wrong season for this and I don't like it. And then the little purse, I didn't, the chain was, it's all tied up because I knew I didn't keep it. I didn't want to like undo all the paper and take it out. Um, you guys can see it just as much this way as you can with the chain. You can imagine what it looks like with the chain, but I just don't think it's fair to do that for somebody who really might buy it. And I want to keep it in its original pristine condition so that somebody else could get it. Um, it's the $64. It's very cute. I do like it but I don't need it. I don't need it. I get all my purses right now from Bolzano and that is just too small for me. So all I'm going to keep is the sweatshirt that I'm wearing today, but I'm happy to have it. I do like it. I think it's very cute and it's very cozy. So I'm very happy that I found one wonderful piece in here. And yeah, so tell me you guys what you think. Did I make the right choice? I'll see you guys all in the next video. Be sure and hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye.